Welcome to Lex of Motion. My name is Leko. Today we will continue with the third part of our animation tutorial. You will know what the other part. I will advise you to go watch them so that you can understand the context by which we are coming from. So today, this is what we are going to be animating. Let's jump right into it. About here, we can just initiate our clicking. So it's very easy to initiate the clip from here to 220. We just take it to, it to around here, also. We just take it to one. Two. We just make this 100, make this 100. Yeah, that's sweet. That could work. That could work. So the moment this click happens, we just want to initiate the animation of the next screen. For the animation of the next screen, we'll be using the very fantastic principle of continuity, whereby the element from the previous screen goes into the next screen. So the element from the previous screen that is going to go into the next screen is this button. When the button is clicked, it expands and fill up the screen and that will serve as the background for our coming screen. So to start the animation, we're just gonna start from here. And uh, we'll just start around here. So when the click happens, there's a position factor here. And let's say about, um, yeah, it goes up. So when it goes up, it fills up the screen. Get the concept. So at this point, I will just start increasing the height of the button. I'm gonna just easy ease them. Just give them some smooth movement. Okay, I'll just make it a little bit slower. Yeah, that's it. So about here, I'll just enter into the comp, increase the comp size to about um, maybe 930 by 930. Yeah, we just end these guys, we don't need them again. So from here, let me just zoom in out, yeah. And about this point, we just we we'll just take it to about 25. Should be so bad. And we just increase it. We'll increase it like this. Increase it like this. Get the concept. Let's check what we did. It's a little bit too slow. So about this point, I might just start. So let's check it out. Yeah, that's already making sense. One thing we can do is to apply position also from here. Um, okay, maybe from here. Yep. When it fills up around 260, yeah. Just claim the position about here. I still feel the box is a little bit too narrow, so we can, what we can do is just increase the size of the box. Yeah, fills up the screen. So let's check where we are. Yeah, it's already making sense. We could just apply an easy ease. Close this guy here. 
sebelumnya. Fantas. So about here, I might want to just deactivate the play now test. Let's apply opacity from here. So if I say one eight, I just put it at one eighty five. Make it zero. So we don't see it again on the screen. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Just make it nice. Yeah. So one thing we need to do is to make sure that this um, other elements are going away when our buttons come in. Or we can actually take our button to the top of the screen. But nevertheless, we're still going to apply some opacity to the rest of the element. What we can do to mitigate that is to pull out the bubbles to create a very nice effect. So I'm just going to go into the bubbles comp. I'm just going to drag them out one after the other. Copy. Let's copy it around here. Maybe How about here. But they are just reverse the direction for you to go outside. And about here, top of the scale. And I just make it smaller here. See that. I think it's a little bit too far, but let me just make it around here and see what we have here. Yeah, I think this is nicer. So that's basically it. I'm just going to copy and paste. I'll just follow the same technique I used for the history bubble. I'll use it for the rest of the bubbles also. So I'm done replicating the effect. So you can see coming and when it's going out, it just goes out fantastic. So we can just go back to the home screen. I can just see the effect. Have you seen? Although it's fast, but one thing we can do is to make it that way early. About here, we can just pull it to start a bit much early around here. Go back to the home screen and show you that. So we can see the beauty of the animation. But it's still pretty fast, but then the little details add to the effect. So we also need to make these guys go away. We could just add a simple opacity about here. We just make it here. Let's drag it a little bit to this place. Maybe around here. I'm gonna make it zero. I'm just trim it so that you can see. I think the play now button is coming in, it's going away a little bit too late. We could just apply the same opacity at this point also to it so that we have a sense of consistency. Yes. 
proceed. The pull up is a little bit fast. This pull up is a little bit fast, but then we can just make it like this and see what we add. Yeah, it's nice, but feels a little bit too slow. Let's just make it like this. You understand? Yeah, not bad. So what we happen is that we're just going to push these two guys away also. So one of the um, principles of UI animation also is that the elements should react the surrounding element also so i might just need to push these guys away so i'll just i might just create a, um, a null object for that to happen so this is it click play icon click play base circle yes and the back link so those are the guys i'll just create a new hot null object so elements and just use mbs to center it just put it around here so i'll just print these guys maybe all of them like this Print the top element handle maybe pick it started around here and also make it color orange also sorry So we just keyframe the position. So about here, we wanted to push away to about here. So we just make it go like this. You understand? So we just apply the same velocity scale, which is easy easing. So let's see what have you seen? So when that happens, we could just apply opacity to the element but the opacity will be staggered I'm going to show you what I mean now so about here opacity make it zero so the opacity will appear Oh, I've applied opacity to somebody I should have applied opacity to. Go to bottom primary. I'm just going to delete this. So the opacity will be staggered according to how the elements of course. So the first backlink will first get opacity, then followed by quick play icon at the last. Also, base circle should get an opacity. Get an opacity about here also. Yeah. And I feel we also stagger the position just to make it nicer. So although it pushes it, this quick play position might just go a little bit faster. So you just see. Have you seen? Now the transition is very fast, so we may not really you know, appreciate the beauty of those little little stuff. But those little little elements are what makes the animation from good to great. Have you so it's pushing it away? Just add a little bit of interaction to the animation. Fantastic. So one major thing though is that we need to mask everything. First of all, let's mark the button. We'll just copy our screen, bring it here, then we just um, format. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Also, we need to alpha mat our top elements. So I'm just going to pre-comp them and call them top element. Yeah, 
to compose sub elements or oh, can sue, can sue, can sue. Make sure move all attributes into a new comb is selected. So yeah, when this happens, we just go to the screen and not say affirmative. So have you seen? Beautiful. We just change our color code to orange, just to make sure everybody has this. everybody's on the same page. Bam, tablet. So we are ready for animating the next screen. It's gonna save. So now for the next screen, I think uh, this is where you start the next screen. But just on a marker here. Yeah? Doesn't question screen. So this is where question screen begins. At this point, we could just trim all our quick play layers. It's about this point, even to this one too. It's about this place, so that we can know what we are doing. And except bottom primary, though, because bottom primary we save as a continuum of the next next screen. So we might just retain it. But then we need to also trim this guy. Just pull it to the top. Oh, go back. Pull it to the top. Also, we need to extend this. So when this happens, we can just apply our shy um, effect. So that we just hide the screen, so you don't need it again. So yeah, so with this we can start animating our next screen. We might just go into the scope and increase the duration so that we can just have enough leg room to walk. Yeah, it's better. So from here we could just bring in the new screen. Let's just delete the comps, we don't need it again. So we go back into our Figma file, click on question and import. We're going to be using our fantastic plugin called AEUX. We just push. Fantastic. Have you seen this mistake? That's why you have to make sure your AEUX is set at one time before you paste. I'm just going to cancel it and resend. I don't want it to be at three point three times. It'd be too big for us. So this is just fantastic. If I check it back again now, four six five nine six four. So for that to happen, I'm just going to copy. But if I copy, I'm just going to color code them to let's pin them red. Cool. I'm just going to copy all of them and bring them into our comp here. And make them start are about here. Just trim them. Start about here, and we could just pull them. Yes. So the first item on our list to animate, we will just start with these illustrations. Then we go to this text box. Then we go to the question and the progress bar. So let's just take it one after the other. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add um, every other person apart from the illustration so I could just concentrate on what I'm doing. So yeah, cool. So when this is done, the first thing we might need to animate, I prefer starting with the credit card. For some reason, I just prefer starting with the credit card. But from here, it's very simple apparently. It's just a very nice movement of scale and position 
yes and also position I put the position a little bit down like this yeah by the way this semicircle also needs to be prevented to eat so let's just make this guy easy is in Yeah, that's just beautiful but it's not going to start his animation from here so he's going to start his animating from about here so what we're going to do is that we could just push it to this point so this is where question screen really starts from have you seen so also we need to push our credit card now you see the comp has ended because we don't really have a lot of leg room. It's very easy, just go into the comp and just increase the duration so that we can have enough room for us to animate. So I'll just replicate it for the rest of the comps so that it was easy for us. So yeah, we now have enough leg room for us to animate. Understand? It's one of these bugs that comes with using a UX or film. So when this happens, you will notice that the color of the question screen is different from that which is common. So we are just going to animate the color of the previous screen to match that of the new screen. So. This is the color. The color is um, OA2BAC copy. I will go back to our bottom primary. So, about this point when it starts coming in, let's say 240, go into it and just edit the color, go back again. So, about this point when it comes in, let's say to about this point, we go back again and we just create a new color match what we have see that's beautiful let me hide these guys because I know they're convincing us right now so that we just focus on what we have see that but then there's also this guy at the top right corner now what we can do for this guy at the top right corner is that the moment it fills up Okay, I think I've already eaten it. Top left, just bring that about here. We can just, you know, make it, make it scale in. So about this point, we just go to here. And just increase it here. So when we just push it to, let's just see it, if it works from here. Nah, it does not really work. Let's take it to about yeah. So from here it's going to be let's say five. But it's a little bit too fast. We just take it like this. And I think the position is a little bit off. I'm gonna drag the position like this, take it up. I know it's outside of the bounding box, but we'll solve that later. Yeah, it's nice, but it's a little bit too slow. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So I'm just going to easy, easy it in. So if we can take it somewhere like this. Yeah, this is just beautiful. I just increase it like this. Fantastic. We just increase the speed of this guy just to make it sweeter. Ooh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. So let's just activate this guy. Yeah, it works, it works. It works. 
some I don't know like is the credit card is losing its position or what I'm not sure is there an opacity yes 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 if you notice when we adjusted more leg room we should have adjusted it also in its original comp so I think that's the problem we just go back into semicircle also fill it all and increase it just to fill it up so we're not we're not going to have any issues again that's just with there. so we just do the animation of the rest of the illustrations just using the same principle of position and scale so for the color wheel you might also want to drag it to about here but then maybe put it there put it like this so about here also So at this point, we just reduce it. I like five, and put the position downward a little bit like this. Now it's weird because we're using different velocities. Just use the same velocity. Now one thing I want to do is to apply a bounce. This in so I think the bounce what we can do is to make and stagger them let's see how that works Ooh, look how beautiful that is that's just fantastic that's just fantastic so what we're going to do is that we are also also going to duplicate it also for the rest of the guys so about here also we just pull I wanted to start is about here just to create like this cascading effect so from here position and scale just the shape the position here. Well, you know, let me just start this from here so I can just trace a uniform time frame. So it's going to be five. I'm going to start way down. Part about here. Now, if I think if I go inside. We didn't have a lot of leg room, so I'm just gonna pull it up and go back into this place also. Yeah, that works. And I think the major issue for this leg room is because it was set at five seconds. Whenever you're importing your screens from Figma into After Effects with AUX, make sure these options are set at one times, and this comp duration is set at 13 seconds which is about 13 times 60 frames you get the concept so that's why uh, we have this weird issues whereby we're always adjusting the leg room if you don't want to adjust the leg room just make sure that that is solved so I'm gonna just make this guy start about here just to create the cascading effect which is too far um, just apply easy is in no sorry easy is in and we just might just bounce it it is at 110 but as you just copy it just to save your life with your life easy so you look at that sweet bounce Get that so we do the same also for the last which is the popcorn so we just drag it to about here too position scale
and we apply it also at this point or we could just copy the, the scale property from here but one thing we can do is that we send this guy downward like this now we also have this leg room issue this like i should have checked my aux before i imported i didn't check it i just i just imported thinking it was already set the thing about the plugin is that even though you set it sometimes, it reverts back to the default. So make sure that before you import, you're always checking it. Now look how smooth and you know sweet this is. Oof. So we are going to move to the next guys, which are these guys. So what I'm, the plan I have for these guys is to make them scale in. Let's say about this point. So they are named diamond and ring. Just scale them here. I will just let us see if we could just copy the scale we have here and paste it. Now let's, let's drag it a little bit like this. I'm just okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. So the thing about these guys is that they will be rotating. So when they come in about here. This diamond will be rotating around this circle, this color wheel, and also this color wheel will also be rotating. So when it lands in about here, color wheel will start a rotation. I might just rotate for let's say leg room. So annoying. So we may just rotate it to this point and just see what we have. So look at that beauty. I think I'm going to rotate it the other way around. So let's say 54. And let's see what we have. Okay. yes yeah look at that beautiful thing so that's what i want although it's a little bit slow i'm just make it 200 just give it more speed yeah fantastic fantastic so when it's rolling also so when it begins it's rolling about here diamond also will start is all rolling so diamond will start is rolling we can just put diamond scale to about here also put it here because I wanted to start it rolling the same time the color will start rolling also so about this point or better still for us to make it roll very nice we just create a new null object and call this diamond center and just use MBS to station it place the center around here scale it in concept and just make it a child element of diamond center make it start about the same time also about this point so at this point we're just going to rotate and the same point where the color wheel ends our rotation that's when we stop the rotation also. Have you seen? Just fantastic. So let's try it out. Have you seen? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Although I think it's too fast. I may just make it 90 minus. Let's say minus 5. It's too fast for my life to be minus 50 there. Yeah, beautiful, 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 beautiful. So for the ring also, I also want the ring to rotate. But I might just use position alone without really going so badass. So at this point, I'll just drag it to about here. And use the cuffs 
on the position to make it work. I mean, I could have used the same technique for the diamond, but well, we are trying to learn new tricks, so the more you know, the more easy it is. So apparently, there are also issues with using this technique, like you just saw, and we just pull it up like this. So there is no clashing. So look how sweet that is. So yeah, we are done with the, with the illustrations. So to finish it up, we just pre-comp them all so that we can mask them. So I'm just going to select, I'm going to select them all and pre-comp them and call them question screen illustrations. Make sure that this is selected, move all attributes. I just press OK. Make them start about here. And yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this guy, bring it up about here, and just mask it. Format. Make it like two the color code, both of them to be red. Have you seen? Beautiful. Now there's a little bit of a glitch around here. I think is the is the screen of yes, have you seen? Is the screen of the question screen that is causing the issue? But right now it is already solved. But that's beautiful. But as you can see, even our bottom screen. Is going away because of it because of leg room. That was a major, major, major mistake. I didn't really see if I started out. Well, make sure you don't make any mistake. Also, before you import, make sure this is set at one times. This is set at 60, this is at 13. You get the concept. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So let us see them, you know, on the big screen. It's just beautiful. So at this point, we want to pull in our question boxes. So we just bring in the rest of our layers. So these are the major guys we need. Uh, yeah, let us let us touch these guys now. I will just do this and boom. We had to hide this guy by the way, we don't need it anymore. Give this guy. Yes. Give this guy. We don't need you anymore, man. So we just keep our eyes centered. So at this point, I might just make everybody start. And Anna, I think I'll make them start about here. About 250. So what's gonna happen is that this will be this will be the parent while this will be the child. Just follow me. And I will just apply position about here. Maybe 260 should not be bad. So from this point, they come in about here. Easy easing, obviously. Yeah. You see, it's a little bit fast. Let me just make this about 270. But you guess as much I had to edit the leg room. Major, major mistake before I started. But nevertheless, it's not so bad. I think Embron is not really sorted out. So to, I'll just go back into it and just see. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. 
So they are coming in nice, but I want to stagger them. So to stagger them, I'm just going to apply individual position to each of them. So I'm just going to apply position from here. Drag it way back. Uh, mistake. From here, maybe it's about here. Make it easy, is in. Drag it down a bit from here. That's fantastic. Beautiful. But better still, you know what? Let us make this position. That's just fantastic. We do the same for Jerusalem also. At this point, it's about here. Guarantee, but then it's going to be far off. Let me just add easy ease in. Look at about here. Yeah, that's just beautiful. So one thing I want to do is that um, we could just go back and deactivate the appearance and we just print the Jerusalem. I wanted to do a fine trick by using um, Bethlehem as the parent but nevertheless we can start thin into Jerusalem. I'm just gonna guide Jerusalem to about here. And at this point, bring Bethlehem about here. Fantastic. I just bring both of them to Jerusalem. Oops. Bethlehem is too far. Let's pull Bethlehem back. Yes, beautiful. Yes, beautiful. A little bit um, buggy, but I could just apply easy ease to it. Easy ease in. And just stagger them about this point. Let us see what we have. Fantastic. It just increase. The duration that's just beautiful. So cool, cool, cool. So when this is done at this point, you notice that it's already clashing with this guy. We could just add opacity. We just add opacity, and obviously we're going to stagger it with Ebron to about this point. Let's just set up the opacity about here and make them um, zero. So we'll just target Ebron because Ebron is the farthest this guy around here. So let's just see where we are. That's just beautiful. Let me just push it about here. Fantastic, fantastic. One more thing though. We also might want to add in a trim part effect. By the way, let me just end all this comps I don't need again. So I'm just going to go into Jerusalem. Make this guy black so I can see what I'm doing. Just want to experiment. I just want to experiment with something. So at this point, we had a trim effect. I've already cut it inside. Um, 
Figma. So I'll just add the trim part effect about here. So let me just take it here to let's say 371. Let's say 380. About here. So this place is going to be at 100. Maybe also this place you might just touch it also to be at this part. When it gets here, it's going to turn back to 100. So I don't know whether I can see what I just did there. So it feels over. I think it's too slow though. Oh, it should be 281, 291. It's too slow. So at about this point, let's just zoom in. That's fantastic. Just uh, create easy is in. Beautiful. So I'll just replicate it also for the top. I think I can just copy it. I don't know what I'm gonna work. So you know, let me just copy property itself and just paste it. For top. So now for top, it's just the point of just replicating what we have. You know, let me just do it for it normally. At this point, I'm just going to go to top. Add room parts. Obviously, I'm just going to do normally. I'll just add trim parts and just start it. Same fine, I'm starting this guy too. So at this point, I'm just going to reduce it. Maybe about this point. Then this guy about this point also. We just pull it up like this so that we have this effect. Yes. That is beautiful. So we just like this that's just fantastic sorry about that that's just fantastic so let us see what we just did here so you can see although I wanted to start it started a little bit late so what I might just do is that I'm just going to pull it back a little bit. Start about here. So let me see. It's still starting a little bit late. Let's just make it start about here. Yes, this should be enough. What we can do so that we can appreciate the beauty is to bring it a little bit slower. Yeah. Now this little thing you might think it does not really mean, but all these little little nuances are what makes animation pretty pretty nice from zero to a hundred. So what I'm just going to do is that I'm just going to replicate what I did in the rest of the answer button is just simple copy and paste on each of the buttons. So we're going to go here, go to Bethlehem at the top. But same 250, 250. But I'm just stagger it about 260. I'll just paste it. Easy peasy. But then let me just change the color to black so I can see what I'm doing. I'll just zoom in so you can see easily it has already pasted. I will go also and paste the button. Also, honestly, 
Also I have to say Steve. I think you already done. Some weird issue is not working for the button. Perhaps we just need to bring it in here and just take it down. Yep, it's working. So I'm just going to go back and copy and go into the last which is uh, I think a brown and uh, first of all copy the trim part for top at 26 let's say 270 for top yeah change the color to be black so we can see what we are doing Okay. Fantastic, and uh, we go back to the bottom also. Just copy the effect and paste it for the same file. Now, in case it does not done, we just take it into yeah, it should do. Yeah, on the little little nuances. Shape, yes. So let us see what we are. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. The last thing we need to do for this screen, but not the last, but one of the last things we need to do is to edit these questions to come in. I want them to come in. So at this point, I'm just going to Make this a child element of this. Bring the position of factor. Uh, yeah, maybe from here. I'll just make it like the same time. I'll take the position to about here. I want to come from the top. And yeah. And do we need to scale it? No, we don't really need to scale it. So yeah. So the beauty, so what we're gonna do is just to um stagger it. And I just take this big guy a little bit up. Yes. But this is a little bit too far, I'm gonna just make it here. That's beautiful. So I'm just going to apply it, yes. Maybe add some opacity about here. Opacity, opacity. Make it opacity about here. Push it to this place. Ah, that's a little bit weird. Not bad, not bad. I'm just do it like this. Let's drag it a little bit. And just take it up like this. Yeah, this is beautiful. I think we might want to bring it to this place.
Now when this happens, I would like to click on the correct answer. Now the correct answer for this is obviously Bethlehem. So let's see at this point, this is it 2, 9, five. Okay, let's make it 300. At this point, let me push. I'm just going to, let me say, give more leg room to these guys. Oh, me and leg room in this tutorial. So when this happens, I'm just going to click the correct button. Now, click the correct button. It's pretty easy. First of all, we need to initiate the scale. From here, about here, we could just make it 90. And we can make it, let us see what we have. Simple as ABC. You see. Just going to Bethlehem. here. And we need to create a click effect. Now I've already placed this click effect from the, uh, from the Figma file, so it's easy for us. So for this click effect, the color for the click effect, I want it to be uh, let me just pick a color from here. Let's go to this place and just pick a color. See this guy. So my brand is not Jerusalem, it's Bethlehem. I'm just gonna paint it. Yeah, so you're not gonna see it because I'm not having the feel. Let me just add a feel. So this is it. But then it's not going to start like this. So at 300, as when at this point I wanted to start showing up. So I'm just going to animate its size to about this point. You know, let's just make it a little bit slower. Yeah. So at 330. activate it and before this happens we can just zoom in we just make it uh, just make it easy before this happens it has to be it needs to have an opacity we just drag this guy to this point and just apply and the base it to make this guy is zero. Have you seen? So when you click, it drags it to fear. It just it's just so beautiful. So when it clicks, it drags it to fill up the screen. Fantastic. And also the last thing we need to do. Before we go to the next animation, this progress bar, we need to animate them. And it's not about this progress bar, if you remember from the last tutorial, the progress bar like a timer. You understand? So it's very easy to bring it this progress bar. Remember about this point, we just start the progress bar. So it's just going to come in with the screen. So when it comes in with the screen, we're going to be animating it. So for the field, just click on this part. And the moment we click on the screen, I think it is about 300. Let me just check it out here. 317. So at 317, that's when we're just going to stop it. Well, is here. It's going to be at this point. There's going to be filling up. But in the time we click on it. But at this point, we just make it increase to. Yeah, it's a pretty fast timer, by the way. You know what? Let's make it fill up. But we just bring it to about 340. Beautiful. 
think it's coming in pretty late. Let me just take it to this place. Yeah, this is just beautiful. Now, I want the scale of the bottom to be bigger than this 100. I think it's a little bit funny, but I think it's finer like this. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. We just easy, easy it in. Yeah, that works. That works. That works. That works. One thing we can also do is to deactivate the stroke. Let's apply an opacity from here and just go to the top and bottom. Just add opacities. So when it's feeling, it's feeling hot and everybody's losing their opacity. Let's check it out. See, pretty easy and pretty fun. So we just at the end scene of the animation. So when it comes in and you click like this and it fills up in its glory, about 355, we will just pull them, we just pull all of them away. Now to pull them away, it's pretty easy. First of all, we need to apply a null object, three of them. So I'm just going to create a new null object and call this answer. Bring it about here and parent just Jerusalem to it. Since the rest I already created Jerusalem. And the moment the click occurs. Bring back here and the clicker. And the moment the click occurs about 350, this undo which we can make. Let me make it start here so it does not convince us. So this undo we just pull all of them out. I just center it. Bring it to about sorry. Okay, don't worry, just center it here. And to like 70, it pulls them outside. It's easy here, of course. So we can just inspect our animation. I might want to edit the speed graph to make it much more sweeter. You could tinker with this as much as you like the way you want the most. So the idea behind the speed graph is that the flatter, the much more slower. Yeah, that works. Although I think I may just bring it to 30. Yes. So this works. And with this, we come to the end of this part of the animation tutorial. The link to the next part will show on your screen anytime from now. But in case you need any help, let me know in the comments. I'll be waiting for you. But don't forget to subscribe and also like this video. I'll see you soon.